Hey peeps, welcome back to my channel and it is 2021 and it's January and it's a new year and here's hoping for a better year than before. And here comes Katie. <laughs> Today I'm going to talk a little bit about my planner lineup and uh, some of my plans for the new year and I'm going to be showing you um, through some of my planners so you can see how I'm going to be using them. And I'm also going to be setting up my Kanban board. You can see in the background, it is empty. I took everything up. I actually managed to move everything over to the done section last year. And I'm very, very happy about that. So stick around. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. And Hit the uh, bell so you get notified when I have new videos. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up because it's helpful for me. And we'll get started here. So, oh, a brief recap in case you don't know who I am and haven't looked at my introduction video. I am Yasmin Galanorn, and this is Kaylee one of my four feline companions. And uh, I'm a New York Times uh, Publishers Weekly and USA Today bestselling author. I've spent 20 years in trad publishing in, uh, with New York presses. And then I moved to Indy in 2016. So this will be my fifth year in Indy and I am infinitely happier um, to be honest. And so, yeah, that's a little bit about me. And usually I have at least one, if not two kitties, helping me make my videos. And, uh, you know, it, it's, a, it's a fuzzy old time. So I had a feline interruption there, cat on the keyboard. And I'm just uh, making sure everything's still working here. Yes, we're still recording. Anyway, so I'm going to kind of lost my train of thought thanks to a little furball. Um, oh, my Kanban board. And I'm going to be setting up my Tarot Magical Planner. Um, it's going to be a very quick setup. I'm not going to go into depth with it. Uh, I have my post-it notes for my Kanban board. So without further ado, let's get started. So. Here we go. These are the planners and planner accessories. I am using this calendar year and hopefully they will work for me. I am making a conscious pledge to myself not to keep switching planners. I did this last year and part of it was because 2020, I mean, it was what it was and things were so askew that it was very difficult at times to know exactly how to, how to work and plan out my day. Now my writing planner stayed pretty much the same because it works for me. But my daily planner was a mess and I hadn't found a health journal setup that worked for me. And I'm, I really need to be keeping a health journal. And I wanted to keep a tarot journal, but I tried to keep it in my writing planner and that didn't work. So there we go. I'm going to show you some of the various planners I'm using, and then I'm going to decorate my tarot journal, and uh, you can stick around with me. So first, these are the power sheets. It's not a planner, like a calendar planner per se. I did a video on this earlier, and I've got my power sheets ready, and there's what they call a tending sheet that goes for every month. And I've got my tending sheet for January ready. And down here is where you mark off the progress. Uh, I did not write yesterday because I'm not in a writing phase yet. I will be next week. Um, I'm planning this week. And I didn't get my yoga done yesterday and I didn't write down my gratitude, partially because I wasn't sure where I was going to put it, but now I know. So yeah, and then when the month is over, I turn over the tending sheet and I fill it out to see how I'm doing and I get February's tending sheet ready. So that takes care of the power sheets. 
And you keep this where you can see it, the tending sheet where you can see it, so it reminds you to do the things you want to do. Oh, so next, I'm going to show you my health journal. I'm using, oops, I'm using, um, get that set again, Happy Planners. There we go. Oh, you can see my golden piggy bank. So this is going to be my health journal for this year. And I started it in, December, no, in October last year. And I finally found a setup that works for me. Um, let's put this on top of here. Reaction list, those are just things that, that I didn't know I was reacting to, that I am reacting to. Um, there's a whole list of things I already know that I react to. So I bought this dashboard because, hey, I'm a coffee junkie. And even though it has been curtailed back to two shots of caffeinated espresso a day, and if I want two shots of decaf, I still consider myself a co coffee addict and a coffee queen. And I love this. Uh, it came from Glam Girl Planners on Etsy, as did a lot of the covers. Um, this one came from them too. So I am going to skip ahead to a day I have not filled out because, you know, private health information. So, okay. And I filled these out for about a month at a time. I, I designed them. Basically, I discovered that I need to just use dot grid paper and my own design for all my special needs. So, I have put it together with a bunch of really cute stickers that make me want to use it um, because I'm not very good with health journals and I've tried before and failed. And this way, at least, I feel like I put some money into it and some effort into it so I should be using it. So I have a section for basic health, how, I, how I'm doing that day, mental health and physical, the foods I ate so I know what I might be reacting to. Um, reactions and medications I needed to take for their reactions. Uh, meds one, meds two, meds three, meds four, all the supplements I talked about in one of my videos about in cows. And sometime soon, I will probably do a video showing you the plethora of things I'm supposed to take. And then protein shake, um, blood pressure, pulse. And I decided to start tracking my sleep. I do not generally get enough sleep and I do not get restful sleep when I sleep. I mean, it's, it's a rarity to have a good night. So I just went through and I've got, um, you know, I'm doing a quarter at a time. So this is through March. And this journal, I usually don't keep my prior journals because it's just a lot of paper that I don't need to keep. I usually just recycle or, or shred some of them. But these pages I will probably keep and I will probably bind with um, just a basic cover and keep these for a year or so till I see how my health is doing, till I see where I am with my MCAS. I am getting some stickers that are no sugar and no starch stickers. I am on a no sugar year which means no refined sugars, no honey, no, um, no maple syrup, no refined sugar, no cupcakes, no cookies, unless they're made with sugar-free substitutes that I can handle. And when I get those, I will, each day that I succeed, I will put down in my journal. I may do it in the, uh, on this um, yeah, monthly spread. As you can see on the 12th, I'm starting the no starch. And I'd like to get to where I'm doing no starch for every day except for two days a week, but I'm starting with every other day and cutting down from there because my diet is so limited that if I just tried to go no starch and no sugar at the same time, I know it's not gonna work. I've tried that. 
So let's see, let's move on to my daily planner, which I finally just settled on today. I was having, wasting so much time trying to decide on planners yesterday for my daily, daily planner that I finally last night just said, I'm done with wasting time, pick one and stick to it. And this is the one I ended up picking. Again, this cover from, comes from Glam Girl Planners. I don't like most of the happy planner covers and I don't like the radiant rainbow spreads. I'm not so much a neutral person, but I'm not a pastel person, but I do like these um, discs and I think they go with this and I will be changing the cover out every season, I think so, or whenever I feel like it. So this is um, the overall year which I still need to fill in. And that was, uh, this was an 18 month planner and I just got rid of the last six months or the uh, six months of 2020 that was in there because honestly, I don't want to be reminded of, reminded of it. So here's my spread for January. I've only got one thing written down yet. I have to write down a few more things in here. Um, my birthday's on the 17th, so I put some pretty stickers there. And um, let's see, tarot reading every week that I need to do. I need to do one today for the next week. I've done one for January completely already. And I'm going to try for a card a day, but I'm not putting it in here. That's just a reminder to do it. So here's my spread for the coming week, things I need to do. I decided not to add time zone except if it is an actual appointment because it can take me two hours to 14 hours to finish a day. Uh, these are all things I hope to do. I want to get back into my yoga at night because it's so good for me. Over here, I've got a list of things for this week that I want to get done. Admin includes everything from pro, um, promo to blog posts to videos to everything else. So yeah, this, this is gonna be my yearly planner, um, basically an overview of the day. And again, it's a happy planner, but it's not a happy planner cover. By the way, the bands that I get, these um, I got from Erin Condren and while I don't tend to use her stuff anymore because of the whole Black Lives Matter mess last year. Well, it was, you can look up other planner community people who have capsulized the entire debacle better than I could here. And I really don't feel like getting into it. Some of them have chosen to go back and use her things again. I probably will not be, but the stuff that I have that's permanent, like the bands and stuff, I will keep them used because I don't like wasting things. So this is my writing planner. Question the premise comes from a class that I have done with Becca Sines. She is an incredible writing coach. And it's a very, this is to remind me to always question the things I feel I should do and see if they're really what I need to do. Uh, this is Frankenstein. There are some parts that are from Sarah Cameron's Heart Breathings Planner. I take the things that work for me and use them and borrow from other places. This is a printable in-depth checklist. I've got to fill these out like this week or next week goals for, for this coming year, vision statements. Um, most of these dashboards, again, I got from Glam Girl Planners and they give you the option of having them unpunched. Um, so I punch my own to match my, my planner. This is a letter size planner. This is a Franklin Covey cover and sales records, sales reports, which I keep track of how much I make each month from different vendors. And I have the years going back from 2000 to 
2016, I think, when I first went to MD. So then I have, oh, I skipped that. There, empower. And again, I love this. You've always had the power, my dear. You just have to learn it for yourself. And this, I have a contract with myself and goals, which I'm not going to show you. But uh, yeah. And heels and hustle and coffee. This is yearly roadmaps and overviews of what I want to do this year. Basically, it's got the number of words. And I put a list of them here. The release dates that I am aiming for, the name of the project, when I start it, when I hope to finish it, when I actually finish it. And I think those pages came from Sarah Cannon too. Then we have an overview, which is the yearly overview. And these I like, they are from Sarah Cannon's Heart Readings Planner. Um, Planner, printable, printable planner. And I have yet to fill those out, but I usually use these to note release dates and due dates, quarterly plan. And again, I use that. This is, some of this is redundant, but I found redundancy really helps. And then a writing and publishing checklist that includes the things to remember. Then it comes January and I, I actually bought uh, dashboards for every single month because I like changing it up. And since I do this in quarters, it's divided up into three months at a time. So I have my word count page that I created. And I actually have that listed on my site somewhere. I'll have to look for the link again. Uh, you can print it out if you want. And this, I just put the amount of words I have due that day, the amount of words I have written, the total I have written, and the project that they come from. And then I am using, uh, this is my January, and it is a printable from, I believe, it's either Sarah Cannon's or it's Blue Jay Planners, can't remember which. No, it's Heart Readings. So this is my January layout. And I found some tiny, tiny sticker boxes which are perfect for color coding what I need to do. Then a week one tasks, again from Heart Readings. And then uh, from Blue Jay Platters, I'm using a three box um, spread. And one box I usually fill in with just pretty stuff because I like looking at it. And then you know, what I'm doing that day, like planning, planning. Uh, I need to be working on a series Bible. I didn't get that done yesterday, but that's not going to take long because it's the beginning book. Uh, I'm writing a synopsis today. Tomorrow I start writing on the actual book. I'm doing videos today. And I have blog posts. I uh, put up something on Patreon. Catterday on the blog, things like that. And then a review of this week. And I already have next week's ready to go. And I decided on a pretty pink color for a change, pink and purple. So I have a list of things I need to do. Here is what one of the pages looks like before it has been decorated. And I have washi tape that I put on every every weekly spread because I love washi tape and it's a way to use up what I buy. So this is what it looks like before I go through and put my mark on it, so to speak. And then I've got February's. You can see I really like that cover because I bought it several times for several different planners. And then for March, room where you are planted. And then at the end of March will be a quarterly review and I will get ready for the next quarter. So that's my writing planner. My tarot planner, I bought a happy planner that I was gonna use for my daily plan. I don't like the paper as much, it's thinner, but it's look at all the magic around you. 
I put that 2021 sticker on there. Hello, Stargazer. I mean, it's magical and I liked it from looking at it, but when I got it and I felt the paper, it's like that's thin paper. In my printables, like my writing planner, I use 32 pound bond paper to print on, which is heavy. And this, I don't know what grade of paper it is, but it's not even as nice as the one in my daily planner. So I was like, oh, what should I do? I bought this. I was going to switch over to my daily planner, you know, Tarot and stuff. And I was like, why not just use this one for Tarot? It won't bother me as much. I won't be decorating it up as, as much. I can put my monthly spread right there. So I'm going to get some stickers and we're going to decorate this. And then I'm going to work on my Kanban board. Okay, I'm back. And as I said, I'm not going to be doing major decoration on this one. It just takes too much time to do that many planners this way. So I will be doing some. Um, first of all, this is from Summoned Goods on Etsy. And since it says Divination Witch, it is perfect for this planner. So here we go. So what I've done here is remember to like my weekly readings and if there's a ritual out right there, the daily card reading will be there and my gratitude will go there. I think that works. Now I've decided for my daily readings, at least for a while, maybe for the full month, I just bought this deck called Witch's Wisdom. And it's a beautiful, beautiful deck. It's an oracle deck rather than a tarot. But, um, but I love it. <laughs> every time, oh, I like that. Every time I turn, or pull a card, it seems to be upside down for the moon. Oh, I love that card. This is a beautiful card. I like the deck. It feels, it feels very magical. The booklet is actually fairly detailed, which I really like. So that's it for the Tarot Journal. So hold on, and we'll go through writing out my post-it notes for my Kanban board. So this is my Kanban board. And as you can see, it's divided into three sections. One is to do, the second one in the middle is in progress, and the third one on the far right is done. Now you'll notice the bottom two sections on the left are divided into three, and those are for three months of the quarter. And in this case, it would be January, February, and March. The top section is for writing, the second section is for videos, and the third section is for blog and Patreon posts. The video section is now done. You can see the yellow post-its are my Patreon videos I will be making. The green ones are for my regular YouTube channel. And on this side in each category are the ones that I absolutely um, I'm committed to making and these are extras that I may be making and I have this one in progress right now And now as you can see my blog posts are up there the yellow ones again are for the patreon posts um, My readers of course on patreon will be getting special posts that will not go on my blog so and the last section I have now to finish is up with the writing and you'll notice i do have a blog post up that i wrote yesterday and that is done 
And there, my Kanban board is done for the quarter. All of those blue post-its represent 3,500 words each, although a few of them represent editing and a few of them represent formatting. As you can see, my Kanban board is ready to go. Kanban board is a organizational tool and it allows you to break things down into steps. Oh, see his color is very pretty. Um, and it's something that I find very helpful. There are a lot of articles about uh, making one on the web and it's very simple. I use a whiteboard and I use super sticky post-it notes and I color code. So that's how you do it. I mean, it's just, it's a really simple and you can use it for any sort of thing. My assistant, Andrea, uses one for her quilting projects. So yeah. That's it for today. I'll see you again, maybe the middle of this week. If not, I'll see you next Saturday. Take care, have a great time, and thank you for helping me plan through 2021 and get ready to go and I'm ready to, to rock it out. And I'm going to start writing um, Midnight Web tomorrow. And I'm excited to go back to Moonshadow Bay. And so many of you have loved it that I'm absolutely thrilled. Tell all your friends. Um. <laughs>